last week when Nikon announced that they were buying RED, a lot of my friends who owned RED cameras were like, wow, I'm a Nikon shooter now. Justin, Joshua, Michael, Josiah, Troy, Kyle, Corey, Steven. I know a lot of people who own RED cameras. Jokes on them, I've always been a Nikon shooter. My first uh, film camera was not this exact Nicker Matt EL. Uh, it, my original one was stolen, so I found another one on eBay. And uh, a Nikon F3. Uh, my dad uh, used this camera all through my childhood. And actually, again, not this one. I found another one because I loved it so much. I bought my own. And uh, now I'm playing with, with this guy, the Nikon ZF. It's like, it's like a digital version of this thing. Crazy. Here we have essentially the same sensor as the a7 IV, a7C II, the Panasonic S5 II. Uh, solid sensor, except it doesn't do 4K 60 at full frame. It does have to step down to APS-C. That's kind of what tipped me off, that it's the same sensor. But we have Nikon's image pipeline and these awesome ergonomics that remind me of the F3. So let's take it for a spin and I'll jump back in with some thoughts. Hey Brandon, you're a red shooter now. Um, I guess. You own a RED camera. No, I own a Nikon. All REDs are Nikons. <laughs> There it is. Do you remember what year you got it? Uh, probably got it in... I bought it used, so... I probably got it in 90... Oh, in the 90s? 91. Okay. So. Wow, that's even bigger than my camera. Well, he's got this, like, extra grip. base plate grip. But still, it's... It's a little... It's a little thicker. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if we take this, if we take this base plate, here's the actual size. It's a little closer. Oh yeah. Little, little taller, a little thicker. We need to get the adapter so we can put those lenses on on it though. Brandon's oh, only yeah. got the forty mil. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do some comparisons. Yeah. So Brandon. Why did you buy a Nikon ZF? Well, I like Nikon and I've always enjoyed shooting on like Fuji X-T 3s. Yeah. And so I thought it was a good mix because then it's full frame and it's got the dials and I just really like Did you like Nikon's it because colors. of the retro or would you or did you get it more because it's full frame? Uh, I like both of those aspects, and I've really enjoyed the 40 millimeter. I had a Z6, and that was one of my favorite lenses, so yeah. it works well together. Cool. Uh, yeah, I've, I've never owned a digital Nikon camera. I have lots of experience with the Nikon film cameras, um, and I like that, you know, that experience kind of crosses over. But uh, you, sold, you sold the Z50. That was the APS-C yeah. camera. For this, is there anything about the Z50 that you miss? 
Um, um, well, this is heavy. <laughs> it is it's heavy. all metal. I, but you know what? At the I, same time, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to buy it, because it is all metal. I did enjoy using it without the grip. The uh -oh. grip is cool, and it adds it adds the, the red line. Yeah, it looks like, like a little F3. <laughs> like the F3, but... I, it was it was much easier to handle for me without the grip, and I, I think Gilbert when Gilbert he got preferred to play, the grip too. He, he preferred it without the grip, mm. without the added grip. But it's it's you know it cuts yeah. some of the weight down. It does. I I think the grip's nice. Uh, it, it was like sixteen dollars on Amazon. It does that? It adds a quarter twenty on the side for yeah, all, all your social so. media or TikTok to make take a portrait photo. <laughs> That too. That too. Yeah, uh, it's it's nice, and then it's got um, a fully articulating screen. Although I did notice when you flip the camera or the the screen around to to get yourself, yeah, um, in video mode, at least it kind of reduces some of the things it shows on the screen. It doesn't show like the histogram and oh. some of the other things that you might have up when it's just facing the back. I I wouldn't know because I haven't done too much. You haven't done too many yeah. done too many selfies. Yeah. It is hard with forty millimeters to take a selfie. Yeah, but what I do really like about it is that like I don't know it's it's just simple because I can set all the settings I want before I even turn it on. Um, even though this um, the PSAM section here could be a little confusing since it's like you got all these manual dials. Why would you even have anything here? Other than uh, manual. <laughs> yeah, because Fuji has like their auto settings on each dial. But here, it's pretty cool because you can set up like auto ISO, and then this is your limiter to see Don't go what higher limit. Than... Yeah. So you, you set the auto ISO to 200, and then um, you can adjust this. So um, obviously 100 is not going to work, and 150 is not going to work. But then 200, anything higher than 200, It'll work if you want it at like the base ISO. You just have to turn off auto, but it's it's mm. pretty cool. I, I really like it. The one thing that is a little weird is that if you put it the the um, the lock button only works if it's in C for the custom mode, and then it's only locked once you get to like one third step, the X, mm. the T. But then when you're anywhere else, it just spins, which was yeah, kind of an interesting choice. Doesn't really lock. Yeah, that was kind of an odd like usability. Uh, aspect of the of the camera. Yeah, um, but I can't complain too much. It, it, it is kind of easy, and they've got really nice clicks. Yeah. And they're brass, so um, yeah, nice clicks. metal knobs. It's real nice, like <laughs> old old vintage. It's it's noisier than even my old Nick well, Matt. Maybe that was as loud, but it was Maybe this is just worn in a little bit yeah. more. I also really like that um, there's the photo, the video, and then also a black and white switch. Dedicated um, which is just fun. hop right Sometimes black you white. want black and white. It's, yeah. It's nice. Um, um, but I shoot raw, so um, I'll still have the color anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I think my, my only complaint from the video side was, yeah, when I flip the screen out and I'm trying to film myself, um, I didn't get all of the metering uh, on-screen stuff that I had when, when the screen was out on the back. And then... Um, I couldn't adjust the dials. Like I needed to adjust something. I went to reach for the dial or, or the, the the wheel. Mm -hmm. I went to reach for the wheel and it wouldn't do it. I had to do it on the touch screen. Oh, interesting. So it was, yeah, even though this this is this is Nikon's first art flip out articulating screen on a full screen, frame. Yes, on a full frame. Like yeah, just give me the full the full um, controls on the on the screen when it's yeah. flipped out. It is kind of ironic that the first flip out screen that Nikon did. For at least the Z systems was the ZFC, which was the retro inspired camera, and now the ZF, which is the retro inspired camera, having the the modern features of a flip out screen. So yeah, interesting deal there. Yeah, I, I would have liked to play with it with more lenses. That would have been cool. Yeah. So do well, you? That's all I've got right now. <laughs> yeah. Do you recommend people buy this camera if they're already like if if it's their first camera or if it's uh. They're already in the Nikon. Maybe not first camera because the kit I think is like twenty two hundred dollars. Oh, it is a little it, expensive. It's, it's pretty expensive, but for full frame, it's got features. If you're thinking about like a Z six, um, it definitely focuses better than the original Z six, in my opinion. And yeah, I I I really like it for what it is. It's uh -huh. really nice, but definitely if you have a larger um, lens, the grip is going to be more comfortable. Anything like the twenty four to one twenty or even, yeah. Um, even some of the the prime lenses, this will probably be a much more comfortable situation. That's true. But super easy. Yeah, it's a lot rail. of sixteen lot bucks. Of fun. It's all metal. <laughs>
Thank nice. you for letting me play with the ZF. I don't think I'm going to switch from Canon to Nikon <laughs> yet, but I do want to play with the Z8. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I'd love uh, to play with the Z8 we'll too, so if you get it, let me know. So we can get our hands on a Z8. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>